Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we get to sit down with one of my favorite people in all of tech. Jake Klamka created Insight Fellows eight years ago. And today this program actually graduates over a thousand people every year. And there are over 15,000 people who apply to get in. They take people from all walks of academia, set them down in a seven week program where they're learning from their peers, from mentors, they're working on real world projects and at the end of it they get incredible six-figure jobs with tech giants like Facebook, Netflix and all manner of startup that you can think of. And not only that, they become a part of a community that then pays it forward. It's really one of my favorite examples of a new credential. One that anyone can apply to and one that puts people on an incredible path for success. And it's free. People don't have to pay to come and be an Insight Fellow. That's a really important distinction, and that's what makes it one of my favorite companies in the Valley. Come on, let's go hang out with Jake, learn more about Insight. I'm really glad you're watching, thanks. Everybody's just arriving right now. Um, this is kind of gonna be literally the first kickoff to all fellows, all in the main room. And then we go into breakout sessions with each of the programs individually, where they get even more content. But this first session is all about getting them excited and uh, telling them a little bit of the context of like the Insight community, what we're all about, awesome. and what they can expect. First day, man. First day. Jeez, that's exciting. Yeah. Jake, thank you so much for spending time with me here. Thanks for having me. It's been so cool to see how you've built Insight Fellows from really just the beginning. And you've, you've been part of the journey since day one, Gary. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. How did you get started and how do you think about Insight Fellows today? What, you know, what is Insight Fellows today? Yeah, Insight Fellows is a community of 3,000 data scientists, uh, AI engineers, and our fellows programs are designed for scientists and engineers to transition careers into the most cutting edge, interesting roles out there. Data science, data engineering, AI, um, and now increasingly we're expanding, so we have an infrastructure engineering program, security program that we just launched. So really just trying to be almost like a graduate, professional graduate school where you can take your existing skills as an engineer or a scientist and pivot into some of the most exciting fields out there. So how does that work? Uh, if you're smart and you're driven right. and you, you're coming from academia, yeah. but you know that you have the skills and what it takes to actually go and work in tech or you know, work with data, work in data engineering, all of these fields, right. uh, they go to your website and apply? They apply and uh, essentially my background was physics, so it's kind of solving a problem I had. Um, when I was a physicist, I was writing code every day. I was doing machine learning, and but it didn't say data scientist on my resume. Right. And so I needed product knowledge. I needed some of the technical skills. I needed connections. I needed to sort of plug into that new space and learn some of those product skills and, and business skills. I wish something like so this just existed. Just having a project, having a exactly. real project that you can exactly. work on, was so, really important. So that's really what the fellowship is. It's seven weeks. It's completely free. So that's I think a really unique part of what we do as well. Um, never charged a, a, an Insight Fellow, a single penny. We even do scholarships. The business model is the companies pay if they hire. And so we're able to attract really phenomenal scientists, really phenomenal engineers, who I always say are kind of 95% of the way there. They you know, have years of experience working with quantitative uh, in quantitative fields, writing code or yeah. doing data analysis. I mean, we're sitting right here, right yeah. outside of this door. Yeah. Uh, are how many people? There is 140 here in San Francisco and 340. Right now? Right now, they just started in our six locations. That's incredible. And, and where, what kind of backgrounds are they from? Everything from, you know, where I started, you know, our data science program is physicists, neuroscientists, biologists, increasingly social scientists. We even had uh, some folks coming from English PhDs where they've done like a, a text analysis. They go to data science fields. And our newer programs are really focused around engineers a lot. You know, so folks coming from all sorts of engineering backgrounds, transitioning into machine learning engineering roles on top teams, um, increasingly sort of DevOps roles as well, and security roles like uh, in some of our newer pro programs. So it's really remarkable how much of a transformation can happen for people in such a short it's amount incredible. of time. Yeah. The one thing I think that is really unique about our model as well is it's inc incredibly unstructured. So sometimes people think that there's classes going on here or lectures or we walk people through um, some curriculum and that's not what happens at all. Uh, our fellows show up 
and week one they have to come up with a, a project idea. And the idea behind the project is to build something that is state of the art in the industry and really represents what the top teams in the field are currently working on. You know, and the mentors are actually alumni. Often. They're all alumni. They're yeah. all alumni. Almost all alumni. And then we also have like heads of teams coming in, heads of machine learning teams. So you get a real sense very quickly for what's kind of state of the art in the industry and what people, what problems people are caring about. You get that feedback and you start to build. Yeah. I and mean, three thousand people is a lot of people yeah. who have gone and and they've actually become the most eminent uh, folks in basically every tech company out That's there. That's right. Yeah, I mean, our data science program was the first one we launched, and a couple of years later, we launched data engineering, so we had the most history there. Um, close to 100 data scientists, data engineers working at Facebook. That sounds like a giant part of the team. It's a, it's a big part of the team. We have a couple of dozen working at all the other top, you know, Netflix, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Square, and increasingly, the original alumni are now running the teams. So, you know, Square probably, you know, two of their top data teams are run by Insight alums. LinkedIn, uh, I was just talking with an, uh, one of our alums, Janelle, she runs their like, security and uh, site integrity team. 22 people, engineers report to her. She did Insight in 2014, back still a much smaller company. Oh my God. And so what's really incredible is this mentorship model. What we say is the program's free, but you have to pay it forward. So once you get that job, you come back and you mentor the next generation. And so that includes some of the newer graduates, but includes people like Janelle and uh, a bunch of the other alums who are literally leading the industry and they're coming in uh, every session and helping the current fellows get, get there as well. That's such um, a powerful community. Yeah. Yeah, and what's, what's really incredible about it, and one of the things I love about my job is you have all these folks from all these different backgrounds sitting at the table together. So you'll have, say, the data science program, or uh, for instance, but in that, at that table you have you know, a physicist with a, a biologist with someone in the social sciences. Um, in the engineering programs, like our AI program, you'll have someone who you know, just, just came out of a CS master's working with someone who's been an engineer for 10 years and is pivoting their Super career. Super multidisciplinary. Yeah, and people are constantly, the whole model is since it's so unstructured and everybody's working on their own project, the whole thesis is you learn by collaborating. So if you're stuck for more than 10 minutes, ask someone. And there's always an expert in the room at something. And then that you really get that does sound like a new grad school. Yeah. But yeah. a highly applied one. Yeah, that's exactly the idea. It's like you're already doing something you love in a field that you're really passionate about, but now you want to kind of pivot those skills into like essentially a new cutting edge field and really be at the top of that field. Um, whether it's data, yeah. whether it's AI, whether, like I said, it's security or, or DevOps and, and other areas that we're focusing I mean, on. So many of these fields didn't actually exist even that, 10, 15 years ago. That's the, the whole idea. The term, like, Some of them even a few, few years ago, yeah. yeah. How did the term data science even happen? Have you Yeah, so I mean, actually, this? like uh, it was co-coined at LinkedIn and Facebook. One of the people that coined the term and created the original team, DJ Patil, uh, he ended up being the first data chief data scientist of the US under Obama. He's one of our... Uh, key advisors. He was just here speaking to our alumni. We had 300 alums here. He spoke, and um, those kind of leaders in the field are who helped me get started, help a bunch of our early fellows get started, and it's really, really exciting because now some of those alumni who are Insight fellows are now the leaders of the field and helping the next generation. So it's this like really exciting kind of community dynamic where it's all about building and kind of uh, creating the future of that field and then using those projects as, as a sort of a forcing function to learn and also a portfolio piece to then get uh, sort of yeah. frankly into the, some of the top teams in these fields. And these are yeah. people who are sort of from all around the world. Like all there's the world. not really one traditional background for no. any of them. No, all we look for is really a curiosity and some background around the fundamentals. So in the engineering programs, Fundamentally, you've got some engineering background, but it's all from all backgrounds. We've had mechanical engineers come and transition to machine learning engineers, for instance. Um, in science, it's the same thing. You could be an English PhD, or you could be a quantum physicist, or you know, uh, someone in neuroscience. It really is more about, do you have that fundamental skill of asking questions, looking for answers in data, building models, uh, and, and kind of creating useful products that people are going to really benefit from. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Inside is one of my favorite examples of a new credential. It's something that is a more yeah. fair credential, something that is actually built around projects and what you can do. Exactly. And then I love that there's this community that comes in and actually just teaches this new, like it, the, the methods that are learned here uh, just got invented sometimes, you know, last year or. <laughs> oh, that's exactly right. I'll give you, I'll give you an, you an example. Um, 
we, we have a lot of fellows working in something uh, called the kind of transfer learning where you have like in the AI program pre-trained models. Just in the last few years, they've gotten good enough that you no longer need massive data sets to actually do some of the work that a few years ago only Google and Facebook were able to do with data. And so right away, what that does, it, it opens up a lot of opportunities for startups. The startups that hire many of our fellows. But it also actually allows our fellows to build projects that even a year ago were not possible. So you see every year the projects that are being built here use the newest technologies, and you see fellows doing things that a year or two ago wasn't even possible. Um, and you know, honestly, it's like it's that learning and that um, focus for a short amount of time with a community around you and guidance around you that allows people to learn and produce results that you know people just didn't. You know, even our fellows coming in thought like wasn't possible. That's incredible. Um, seven weeks is all it takes, and then. Uh, and then we kind of support them through that job search and then they end up on, on all these top teams. You come here, yeah. amazing things are happening. Yeah. Uh, we talk about it as a grad school, but right. it's also an amazing business. It's, it's a great business and, and it's great outcomes for the fellows, right? Like we, we always talk about the community and a lot of that sort of like hard to quantify benefit, frankly. Yeah, yeah. The social benefit, the support, but it also works phenomenally well for the fellows in terms of outcomes. Yeah. And works what kind well of jobs us. do they actually get? Yeah, it's it, it's wild. They, they go in often into senior engineer roles. Oftentimes, they get promoted to like lead teams within a couple of years, because really, it's the work they do here at Insight really combined with their really impressive backgrounds. You know, Insight fellows because there's this really great community. We bring some of these top teams in the room. We see fellows getting kind of started salaries. Our average starting salary is about 128,000. Uh, we see various fields like AI, for instance, start up close to 150, and that's just base pay to start. And those salaries are actually often 10 to 15 percent higher than their peers in the industry. And these are often the most difficult roles for these companies to actually hire for. Absolutely, most difficult. That's like that's specifically where we target. Yeah. These are roles that often you know you have the head of a team come in and they say I've been trying to hire for this role for six, nine, even 12 months. Um, a lot of these roles, people interview 20, 30, 40 on sites before they hire. And the reason they love Insight, and frankly, why they come out for free and meet with our fellows and, and sort of, frankly, dedicate a lot of their time, which we're super appreciative of, is because they'll meet with a group of four, five, six fellows. They'll do a few interviews, make one or two hires. And so the, the, the benefit for the companies really is there. So if people want to savings. hire from Insight, yeah. how do they do it? Come uh, talk to you? Come, come, come talk to us. Yeah, right. You can go to insightdatascience.com. Uh, and uh, you know, essentially, we develop these like, long-standing relationships. Most of the companies we work with, we've worked with for years. Yeah. They keep coming back. They keep building their teams uh, with, with, uh, with our talent. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. It's multiple generations of fellows yeah. at this point. And you know, you're talking about it being a good business. I love our business model. I get, I get to essentially provide free education to a bunch of people who I admire because they're brilliant, smart, nice people who we accept into the program. And so we offer that for free to them. We even give them scholarships, but then we're still able to grow and sustain this because the companies, uh, for them, it's a great investment to essentially um, fund, fund the program uh, and hire from it. And so you've been able to grow from how many years ago? How many fellows? Yeah, so it's, it's, you know, I started in 2012, and uh, the first group was eight fellows. And it was like I a remember. tiny, yeah, it was a tiny office in, in Palo Alto. And, it, and, you know, then we kind of grew up a little bit, but it really took kind of, kind of two years for me to figure out the model and really kind of gain critical mass. And then around 2014, our applications were really growing fast. Our fellows had been super successful in going to these top teams. And, uh, and then we started growing it. And yeah. so, how many it, cities are you in now? Yeah, now it's six cities. We just launched LA, so it's here, New York, Boston, Seattle, Toronto, my hometown, which is great. We did yeah. that last year, and then we just started LA. And on the program side, it, it was it's been also super exciting because as soon as the data science program worked, and we were helping these you know PhDs, academics transition into data science, right away my intuition was this model will actually work for any cutting edge field where someone is most of the way there and now needs to pivot their skills. So I, right away I knew like, you know what, this is gonna work for engineers. It's not just gonna work for data science, it'll work for like a bunch of different fields. And so it's been super fun to not only grow insight geographically and address these other markets, but actually to kind of just keep layering on the expertise. Um, and our, our latest program is a security program. So it really, that's another example of us 
experimenting and scaling and growing beyond just our roots and data and really trying to create a community of just smart, ambitious people who love to collaborate and build kind of meaningful, positive things. For and them. you've been this magnet to not only bring in the smartest people in the world, yeah. but you've also picked out some of the best alums and built this incredible team with yeah. you. Yeah, so that, that's the thing. Our, our team now is, is we hire Insight Fellows from the program to run the, the session. Yeah, and they're aligned, they, you know, they get the they mission, get the mission. And this is the mission. Yeah, and so the, the really the mission is to help uh, really smart, ambitious, collaborative people make a positive impact in the world through these like cutting edge roles that keep coming into existence. When people talk about technology, they always talk about it as if it's this like magical thing that just pops into existence. And it isn't. It's always people. It's yeah. people who create it, it's people who build it. And those people thrive when they're together, when they can collaborate, when they can exchange ideas, when they can have a space to create. And that's kind of what Insight is. Jake, yeah. this, this really feels like a new type of graduate school. Really, really smart people working on brand new fields that didn't exist before. Yeah. And then incredible cross-pollination and mentorship. You know, people go off, they become the vanguard in these industries, and then they come back and they teach the new generation. And there's all this cross-pollination. Uh, not just across people, but across entire companies. Yeah, that's exactly it. The vision for Insight is this community of people who have transitioned into these cutting edge careers are making a huge impact. And if we uh, are at the forefront of all these super impactful industries and uh, new types of jobs, frankly, it's, it, there's going to be so much that we can do as a community. I'm excited for it to continue to grow. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, this is really impressive work.